What's up everybody, Doug, Big Kid Power Sports, and today we are going to learn how to put a new rope in your recoil. We've got the recoil off the machine here, and this uh, in this video we're just going to be replacing the rope. Uh, this would happen, you know, just some old rope, it frayed, it broke. Uh, if that happened, you might want to check out your uh, your recoil guides. If they're all torn up, that could start eating away at your rope, and that might be something you want to replace. So we're going to start with uh, we got about seven feet of rope here. Um, you want to singe the end down pretty good, so you got a nice little point there. The other end of the rope, you're going to want to make a little knot, a little catch knot, so you don't pull the whole deal through there, you know? Alright. <clears throat> so this one, we're just replacing this rope. Spring's okay, everything's fine. We don't have to go any further into this recoil at this point. Just pop it off the machine. Your old rope is going to have a knot right here. Just pull that out. It should come out just fine. So at this point, <clears throat> we're just going to wind this up nice and tight. Just go nice and slow because if you slip, this thing will recoil back on you and the plastic pulley is probably going to bite you like it did me two seconds ago. Alright. Just wind it up nice and tight. You'll feel it when it kind of wants to stop. Yeah, that's probably about it. You don't want to go too tight because you're going to pop the spring and then you're going to marry this thing and you're going all the way in. But, luckily, you just broke the rope. So we're good. So this, we're going to take the pointy end of the, not, you know, we're going to take the nice end of uh, our string here, our rope. We're going to go down through the pulley. And out the hole of the recoil housing. Depending on what machine you've got, you might need some needle nose to get down there, angle it, get it in through there. But that's ultimately what we're doing here. We're getting it out of that housing. And pull it all the way through. Make sure that knot sits down in there very nice. Alright, that's tucked in there. Out of the way. And, uh, yeah. So, at this point... At this point, don't let go of the rope. If you do, this thing's going to suck it in here and you'll never see it again. So, hold on towards the end of the rope. Just let that recoil suck it in there. Uh, and at this, you know, you don't want to you don't want to add your handle just yet because you got some uh, recoil guides to run it through and everything. So, I'll just put some kind of basic knot in there just so it doesn't disappear. Should be done. Double check everything. That Paul, the little dog pops out. That catches your magneto. There you go. We're good to go here. So hopefully um, all you needed to do was uh, put new rope in. If you need to do, uh, if you need to do the spring, we've got a video out there on how to completely rebuild your uh, your recoil. This specific recoil is off of a uh, Polaris snowmobile. They're all basically the same. Skidoo is a little different. Some of the older vintage type stuff is a little different. But typically speaking, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty basic little job. If you're just putting rope in, you're good to go. Count your blessings. If, uh, if you have to go further than that and uh, replace that spring, please check out all our video. I'll send a link at the bottom here. And uh, let us know if you need any help, 815-363-1254, help, parts, if you just want to talk, let us know.